Hey guys, it's Bryce here again with another Fusion 360 quick tip that will help you model faster. In this week's quick tip, we will dive into one of my favorite features, press pull. This command is three commands built into one tool. This command is intelligent and will change to the correct feature depending on what is selected. Use press pull anytime you are using the extrude, fillet, or offset faces features. Start by finding the press pull command under the modify dropdown or hitting the Q key on your keyboard. Or use my favorite way to access press pull by holding down the right mouse button and dragging to the top right quadrant of the marking menu. The first use case for using press pull is for extruding geometry. When a sketch profile is selected, the press pull command will automatically be changed to the extrude command. Just like any other extrude, we can extrude geometry, change the depth, or in this case, make a cut for all four holes. Now the next way to use this tool is by activating press pull and using it to create fillets. When an edge is selected, the command will automatically switch to the fillet command. We can quickly select a few edges and round out those sharp corners. This last way to use the press pull is my favorite. When a face is selected, the press pull command is automatically changed to offset faces. I use this method to make small changes to geometry without having to dig through the timeline to figure out which sketch or feature drives that piece of geometry. In addition, this tool is great for adding thicknesses to a selected group of faces. In this example, the overmolding can be added to the saw, then the press pull command can be used to fill at the edge. Start saving yourself some time hunting through different commands and start using press pull.